So a few weeks ago, I did this in-depth video about the clavis quadigy as an expressive envelope generator. Uh, this video is just a short addendum that covers a little bit of information that I didn't know about at the time. It wasn't mentioned in the, in the documentation or anything, uh, but has subsequently been uh, brought to my attention, and it's something that I would have included in that video if I'd known about it. Um, this is a really subtle, nuanced kind of thing, but it's kind of cool. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're, we're actually listening to and looking at envelopes being generated by this AJH Minimod uh, ADSR module here. And I wanted to show you this before we switch over to the Quadigy and take a look at it. Uh, this, this module is an all analog, super careful uh, recreation of the envelope generator circuitry of the Minimoog. And uh, if you go to the AJH Synth website, you can read all about that. Um, anyway, it's a nice ADSR, but um, uh, it, it in particular is doing this uh, effect that we want to look at, which is a, a re-triggering effect that was somewhat unique to the Mini Moog. And if we look over here on the scope, uh, we, we see I, I've got some ratcheting, I'm using a sequencer for this, I, I've got some ratcheting notes that, that come in a series. There's, there's one that's uh, a triplet there, and then there's another that's, that's four notes. And on the mini mode, you probably would, you might not be using a sequencer, but you'd be playing the, playing the keyboard, and if you played the keys quickly, quickly enough with the right sort of envelope, you'd get this stair-stepping effect where uh, subsequent notes would actually be a little louder or a little bit, the, the envelope would go to a higher voltage level uh, on subsequent key presses, or in this case, uh, on subsequent ratchets. So you can see they, they, uh, they get higher and higher, just like that. So the first, the first note got that far, but then it didn't go all the way down again to start the next attack. It actually just kept building on top of itself. And in this case, we're running that envelope up into a, uh, a filter, which is now opening a little bit more with each subsequent note, giving you a, a, a subtle, it's very subtle, but giving you a nice little uh, expressiveness to those note hits that, that might be a bit like if you were playing a piano or something, you might, uh, as you strike the key repeatedly, you might end up striking a little bit harder each time as you tried to hit every note in time. So the, the, the important thing to understand about this effect is that it only works when you have certain kinds of envelope settings. For example, if I take the envelope and make it so that the attack is instantaneous, uh, it, you no longer get that effect because the envelope is immediately going, jumping from zero to its maximum value, and uh, there's no time to establish that sort of a stair-step effect. But if I don't have an instantaneous attack, something more like this, just turned up the attack a little bit, then we, we start to see it. So that's this this mini Moog circuit. Now let's let's switch over here to Quadigy, which I, I've actually already got this thing set up so that I'm triggering Quadigy um, at the same time as I'm doing uh, this AJH envelope. That's this molt here. Uh, I'm just actually going to turn on channel four here. The yellow trace is now the Quadigy, and you can you can see it's actually doing something very similar to what the uh, analog circuit over here is doing. It's not exactly the same, but it's, it's pretty close. Um, and we can even switch our output over here. So this is now, uh, this is what the, the Quadigy is now what's opening and closing our, on, our, our uh, filter up here. It's a very similar effect. Um, and uh, this is a characteristic that is built into the Quadigy. 
It only applies when you are using the join mode for transition. If I take this and put this into restart, you'll see, let me turn off the, the AJH envelope here, so it's not in our way. Now you can see when those uh, ratchets come along, it's flat. They don't increase in a stair-step manner uh, in, in uh, amplitude. That's because we're explicitly restarting the cycle of the envelope every, every time here. Um, so if I put this back in join, now we're back to our, our sort of stair-step effect. Anyway, it's just uh, it's an interesting nuance uh, which Clavis saw to build into their envelope generator here. It's a nice thing to have uh, and maybe, depending on your point of view, adds a little more interest to your envelope behavior, uh, at least in this sort of situation. That's it. Enjoy.